Hello, my name is Eugene Weaver, and I am a product engineer with Schweitzer Engineering Labs Fault Indicator and Sensor Division. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the WSO Wireless Fault Indicator and Sensor. This is a wireless sensor that allows you to report fault status back over a wireless network, and it gets you closer to dispatching to the location of the fault. There are two versions of the WSO. The WSO-10 communicates to a Landis and Gear mesh radio network and the WSO-11 communicates to an on-ramp total reach network. So let's go out into the field and I'll show you how easy it is to install this product. Before I install it, I have to turn on the radio in the product by activating it. We do that with a standard magnet tool. Take the tool, hold it over the product's activate label for several seconds. This will activate the radio within the product. You'll know that the product's radio has been activated because the target will turn red. Now I'll take an industry standard hot stick tool and hook the product onto the tool. Now I can bring the product up to the line, pull back on the product, and engage it on the line. Removing the product is just as easy. I'll pull back on the product twist it slightly, and disengage it from the line. So now that you've seen how easy it is to install the WSO wireless fault indicator and sensor on an overhead circuit, you can use this product to locate faults faster on your system and get closer to dispatching to the location of the fault. 